you have any old toys? I see you got some little things here and there, but like, I'm, I'm always looking for like, like the old Ninja Turtles, old He-Man stuff, you know what I mean? Wait, I do have old He-Man stuff. I'd be interested in all that kind of stuff. You want me to go get it? Yeah. Go. Hey, good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning. And there, oh, there's more records over there. I guess more we should put them all together. Yeah, yeah. come with the records all together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all How much do you want for the records? Dollar piece. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Depends on how many you want to buy. If you got a, if you got a, you want to take them all, you might want to. Don't worry, I'll carry them. Actually, yeah, Christina was going through them last night, and she was like, "Man, there's some really good ones in here." I don't, I don't know what she was calling good ones, but she. How much you want like, for all of them? What? Yeah. How much for all of them? Yeah. Especially the toes. I mean, I've, I've got a handful and so far I like the ones I see here, so. 60 bucks. Got it. So, so if I can have the, can I have the crates? To the, or do you want the boxes? Uh, I need that, I need the one with the green handles. Other than that, you can have Okay. Um, that's, right? that'll work. I can. That's the only one we have lid to. Which one? The green handled one? We have the lid to the, the gray one. Okay, that's fine. And the, yeah, and I use the red one goes in my car. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry. We'll get you some, we'll get you some. I'll get you something to put them in. All right, that'll okay. work. Okay, we'll get you cool. something to put them in. Where's that box that y'all unloaded earlier? You got Atrex too? Yeah, I don't know. What, yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't miss most of the Atrex. Let me see. Will they fit in the crates? Because I can put them all in the crates. Because I got tons of crates. Those are the box. No, there's a, no, there's they a box, people. They're too wide for the crates. How much for the, what is this? It's a Mario Wii set. There's four pieces of it. Yeah, you do that. It can be oh, is it like a... Uh, you play it with your game. So you build it like a Lego. Uh -huh. like a Well, it's connects, but you build it like a Lego, and then it plays with your Wii game. Oh, wow. Uh, my kids, it's not from my kids. Um, it's from an estate, but that's what it does. Is it complete? Do you know? Um, I put it. I put it together. It doesn't have all the little tiny pieces. You know, all the, some of the little accessories. Pretty, but it's got the main stuff. It doesn't. It works. Okay. I mean, it works when I set it up. I, oh, yeah, I don't have the game to, uh, to make sure it connects. But okay. I put the pieces together. Right, if you want them all, I'll do ten for all of them. You take all four of them. Um. Goodness, we can't get a break. No, no. Finally, I found this before. I heard them kicking up the chair, so I'm going to stop getting out of the back. Why are you so strong? Um, because I want to go look at that tarp. Over here. Sorry. Get this off and put the tarp over here. Yes, ma'am. Mm. You, you have another tarp that we could throw out or something? We, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe just cover? Or, or y'all just gonna try to bring everything inside? I don't know what we're doing. We hadn't even woke up this. Milk 
this stuff? Yeah, uh, Carrie, how about this? Come over here and do your job. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, to I know. I, I, and I want to go help. I was like, but I want to look too. And I'm like. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you do. You do your shopping. We'll figure out the other. You need some more credit. I need something. Okay. How about. Don't rush on that. I mean, I, I live here in Town Lakes, so if I got to come back. Okay. I mean, you know, don't, 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 feel, don't feel rushed, okay? I mean, I rather, yeah. You just look. You buy yeah. whatever you want to buy. Like I rather, I rather. And if you're looking for mm -hmm. more stuff, you let us know because we might have some mm -hmm. hidden somewhere. Um, old video games. Old video games. Okay. Um. Yeah. Video games. I do not have any of those right now. Do we need this stuff? I don't think there's a lid to that tub. Okay. Uh, where do you want us to put the tent up? Uh, wherever, and then we can move stuff under it. Okay. I've got a ton of these kind of bags, so we'll just put them in here. I'll put as many fit, and then he can have some bags to put his groceries in, or he can do whatever he wants with them. See, I've got an older one, but I've never, you know, like this. Is... That's a, it's pretty new. It's new, so I was like, you know what, yeah. let me give this a shot. Cause I got one of the, the old ones that you know. Right. It, no, I get it. Betamax. <laughs> wow. Things you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, that's what I'm noticing. It's like wow. There's a ham radio up there. Your hammer. Well, you're probably not. If you're doing these things, you're probably not into ham radio. I'm so glad you came. I'm glad I came too. Yeah. Do y'all have, have any video games? Or anything? Yes, there's a couple over there. I saw these are here. Not yes. very many, but there's a couple. Yes, four. I sold a whole bunch online. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, but I just whenever we have a sale, I just throw everything in because you know it's easier just to. How many? Crazy. Man, this feels good over here. I took you got you got the guys, you got the good supply. <laughs> I took all the crates from his place. As Lord of the should. Rings. Yeah. Well, that dude was telling me, he's like, well, crates are worth lots of money. I'll buy them from you. And I was like, dude, I'm using them to carry stuff. But they're not, right now, they're priceless. So. And he was one of the guys that kept coming back and coming back. And I can't promise anything about that. Yeah, how much do you want for these? I'll take $10 for the whole bottle. I'll take 10 I'll take, I'll take them. Don't you think, Carrie? We can't I promise think. that they work. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Because they're tapes. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, we do estate. So we, we do wills and probate. And so this is leftover from Carrie's estate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 This is leftover from houses that we didn't have. We need to get in contact because I buy the resale. I have a shop in the Avon Antique Mall, so I'm always looking to buy stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Where's your card, Carrie? Uh, I, I, yeah, I'll okay. get, get, work, work, take your time. I've got a card inside my truck. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll, stay, I'll get one of my cards. Because I'm, I'm always looking for records, always looking for records, okay. cassette tapes. Um, okay. Some some of the VHSs, v, VHS is starting to make a comeback the way records did. And um, but oh, people, but people are looking for like horror movies, for whatever reason, okay. 80s horror movies. People are just like so. If it, after sales, then you can do them. I know sometimes you gotta just get everything get right. sold, but you know maybe pull those out the horror movies because those are getting popular. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you want a couple? I'll take two. One for me, one for my wife. Yeah, absolutely. I will. I got my card in the truck. Uh, because, like she said, sometimes we come across stuff and it's the, the family will have an estate sale, but we get the leftovers from the estate sale. Yeah. And we'll do like a you know, a garage sale type just to see what we can Or they don't have enough to do an estate sale. Right, but they have a few valuable things. It's like, it's like a third hand shop. Yes. Yeah. It's always a third hand shop. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to say it, Bob. Thank you, Yeah. And I just think I do have a change inside. Yeah. Not a lot, but I do have a lot. It is a lot of bubble bubble. I mean, it really is bubble bubble. Yeah. It's scary. I don't want to paint it. Yeah. There's a pile of stuff on the floor under a dead cat. You put it up on the table somewhere. Uh, right. you know, it, was yeah. it was in a box and it so, fell out and I just never reached yeah, over yeah. You work hard for like an hour and then you're like, I'm done. And <laughs> does he work? It, it does work. I was going to paint it and make it all pretty, but I just don't have time. <laughs> what is it? 
Dog Santa. New Santa and stuff. Oh, it does work. It, yeah, I'm plugging it in. It works, yeah. How much do you want for him? Uh, 20 bucks? 20 bucks? I might do that. Ooh, he's got a body cam. <laughs> I do. I make videos for my YouTube channel. I make uh, garage sale videos and stuff like that, and oh, people right. people like to watch oh that stuff. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Texan picker. What? Texan picker. Texas picker. Texan, like the Houston Texans. Oh, Texan yeah. picker. Okay. Yeah, Jake, you gonna have a whole bunch of new followers. I appreciate it. That follows you. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, does he? Yeah. Man, this is a nice. Yeah. I, I know it's a nice I also, also uh, like, we'll drive around like on heavy trash pickup and, and uh... Oh, there's always stuff on heavy trash. Yeah. I'm not opposed to it. No, me neither, because I, I mean, I use, I sell that stuff on Facebook, right? Yeah. I use wow. the money. He's, got, he's almost, he's almost at 40,000. I use that, I, I use that money to, uh... Oh, kids are impressed. <laughs> I use that money to come to garage sales to buy stuff to put in my antique shop. Oh, good. Well, my mother no, no, no. You guys are giving me a good price. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, thanks, buddy. I've never met an actual YouTuber. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, Jake. Yeah. There's, um, you and Noah hung those clothes up. There's, a, there's clothes on a shelf. I didn't mean to give you my pinky like that, man. That's all I had available. <laughs> oh, you're okay. There you go. <laughs> But in general, it's hard work out. Hey, go put this back in the car so I can put it in the office. Underneath the table. Hands are getting cold. Yeah, we have this. Oh, this is a kid. Kid. I need kid. I'm kid. Okay. Yeah. This goes in our pocket. In the way for people to be. What would be a big help is if you posted our address. Huh? So behind the washing machine? That would be a huge yeah, help. Uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't mind, but the thing is, is like, by the time I post this video on, on, uh, it on YouTube, yeah. it'll be probably Sunday, Monday, so you guys oh, will yeah. be done by then. Yeah, I've had people say, well, tell people to put my cell. I was like, I would, I would, but. Yeah, but it takes time Yeah, 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 yeah. The celebrity status has taken over. <laughs> That's fun. Sir, for my editing, no, I just I just use um, iMovie uh, for on my iPad. It's the, it's so easy to use, and it's it's like I've tried using other you know other uh, apps and different you know editing software, but it's just so easy to use it on on the on the on the iPad. Oh, are they? It's good it's good to know how to use it. You know, because I mean, it seems like, man, you you start making a little channel recording the anything, and before you know it, man, you're oh, <laughs> cool you, YouTube's paying you to watch, you know, for people to watch your videos. You ever heard of like, uh, you know, uh, Turner High School? Yeah. 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 My daughter goes to uh, Pearland. Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah. All, all the kids here go to Turner. Okay. Well, just all of our, our folks, kids you know, just all go to Turner. Yeah. Turner, you know, there's this thing called Railcat Network, and like I did the intro for it. Oh, cool. And, like, I, don't know, I try to make it like this retro western type thing. Uh, folks said they like it, so like. That's neat. How much you want for this guy? What is it? Is this like a best in it? Is that what this is? I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, Christy, what do you want for this this table we pulled out of the eviction house? I know. The, this table that he want, that he's interested in. No, I don't. I don't see. No, I don't see one. This, what's that? That one. Yeah. 20 bucks? Okay, I'll take it. Are you, for, are you buying these bottles? Um, yeah. Uh, I am jealous now. This looks awesome. <laughs> are you jealous? Can I open it and look at it? It's, it's still yours. Oh, it's still mine. It's still yours until I give you give one for it. I see you got some little things here and there, but like, I'm, I'm always looking for like, like the old Ninja Turtles, old He-Man stuff, you know what I mean? Wait, I do have old He-Man stuff. I'd be interested in all that kind of stuff. You want me to go get it? Yeah. Okay. Do you need help carrying here? I do. Can I have a child? I'll go in. We'll both go in. Or do you want me to go look at it and see if you no, want No, I can, it's already bagged and everything. Okay. I just, I'll put it in here and I all just right. can't carry it because I had shoulder surgery. So okay. I'm a kid to do it. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. So here we are the next day. I didn't get a chance to do the recap uh, that same day. I got caught up with some stuff. And what you see behind me is what's going to be my future office. I had gotten kind of kicked out of my other one. Uh, made the downstairs formal dining to my wife's office and this is going to be my stuff over here so right now it's in the works as you can see there's some stuff getting staged right now and uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks all this looks uh like a like a legit uh reseller's headquarters but without further ado let's get to it all right so we're going to start off with all these vintage toys some of them are newer you know earlier 2000s and some of them are older so we're kind of go through them as you can see most of it well i think everything here is star wars um you got different fighter jets like this guy here and i want to say this is like a 2000 early 2000s model um there's a bunch of bags over here full of little different parts i'm gonna have to go through and really find out see what it is that i have to make sure that you know we complete stuff that needs to get completed but that's a nice piece there some of the stuff i started putting together because it was already in pieces but like this guy here um some of the parts weren't on there and I kind of just started connecting them. Uh, nice, nice looking piece there also. I do believe that is also Star Wars. It looks like there might be a piece missing there. Um, like I said, I haven't gone through that bag yet to really see exactly what's going on over here, but uh, here's this guy right here. Again, I think this is also early 2000s. Let me see. On this one, but I do believe these are all over 2000. Little ones like this guy, this little dude right here is like a little motorcycle, little sidekick there. There's another one here, and that one goes with this one. I believe that goes with this one too. All these go here. That blue one goes with the other one saw that one <laughs> this is a cool dude oh no falling apart on me but you can kind of get an idea of what he was one of those little robots all right uh this one here is 
really cool but but it's kind of ragged uh, a lot of the parts are chewed up on it uh, this leg as you can see uh, it's completely broken off uh, the little piece that holds it together is broken so that might be something that uh, we get rid of for parts this one here is missing a complete wing there it's got the two propellers but it's missing the wing it might be in there who knows um let's see got this gi joe got various parts here as you can see i'm sure that goes with some of the stuff that's over here um little village i'm not sure what that's for uh, that looks like it's G.I. Joe. That might, I'm pretty sure this G.I. Joe. Skylanders, another part. Here's the big G.I. Joe's helmet. Oh, this bag is full of Star Wars. Again, I believe these are all newer ones. I'll have to go through the bags to make sure. I don't know what that is. Oh, that looks like the, what's that guy's name? The Mandalorian? I don't know who that is. All right, there's that. And man, I was excited when I saw this because this is the one that's gonna have. Hopefully, this is the one that's the vintage one with all the vintage Star Wars figures, which it looks like it is, judging by the Han Solo that I see right there. This looks like a early Han Solo. Yeah, that's definitely early. I'm not sure about the rest of these guys. That looks old. Like one of the original ones, as does that one. So we'll have to go through to see to make sure what's what. Made in Taiwan. To, you know, I guess we could verify. Here's another Han Solo. So we'll go through all these. Um, for those who are big time Star Wars collectors. Uh, do you see anything here that's, you know, I need to really double check. You know, the little Yoda, look at that guy. So we'll take a closer look at these. Oh yeah, we had some more stuff over here. Uh, well, this stuff over here is from two different cells. These are some, uh, uh, Slant, Slantkin and Company uh, cookie jars. I'll put a picture of one. This is the one that's the polar bear, and this is the one of the reindeer. Both Christmas, brand new, with five bucks each. Let me see. This was at that same sale with the toys. Uh, it's, I don't know, made in Mexico, a little tray with glass, with a little feather, a little bird on there. Pretty neat. And there was a bunch of these toys in here also. I asked her if she had any He-Man toys. And she said she did, but she brought out mostly everything but He-Man. So here is this train. And locomotive train sets, man. They can go for good money if you got the right ones. Like that guy there. This is part of a um, Monsters of the Universe uh, toy. I forgot his name, but I've got the completed one of him. But these little parts... I'll show my wife how much some of these parts go for. Some of them can go for good money. Yeah, Star Wars. These look like they're newer. Newer Star Wars figures. And a train set. Okay, so here's, we got to start getting to the Masters of the Universe. We got this guy here. And I'm not too familiar with many of these characters, but you got this guy here. And they're all broken, I believe, this guy there. But people still buy them even though they're broken. Because uh, you can fix the little rubber pieces. Plus, like, some like this that have the, the vest. Uh, you know, they're, they're still valuable. This guy is uh, it's a nice piece right here. I, mean, I forget what his name was. But uh, he's got that little part that goes around his arm. That little piece right there can go for good money by itself. He's like Jawbreaker or something like that. Got this two-headed guy right here. She looks to be in good shape. Has her staff. I might hold on to this one if... Oh no. Well, if she's missing her hand. I'm going to hold on to the staff because I have that character. Some pieces here of a uh, bird. Got some pieces here that go to... 
Um, next year, here's a sword, an axe. You got a shield. You got various parts in here uh, that will sort through some parts for Castle Grayskull. Uh, yeah, there's various parts in here. So we'll go through that, separate it out, and sell it as is. There's that bird there. This guy's missing his head. That's that rock guy. A lot of times the heads pop off of that one. This guy could be worth some money here. You got the, the masks that go over Battle Cat. Got two of those. Here's a sword and an axe from He-Man. Uh, these go for about 30, 35 bucks on eBay all day long. This and these two. Got this little guy here. And I want to say the rest. Oh, yeah. These are like some cast iron or copper or something. It's a, it's a, uh, a cannon. I'm not sure what this one was. It was like a battleship or something. Yeah, it's the top of a battleship. USS Cairo. Uh, another little, I think this is part, this is a monorail for Disney. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Got tracks. More tracks. Oh, here's another Masters of the Universe. That's a guy with his tongue, his tongue sticks out. Um, rocks. These might go to one of the castles. From this guy. I don't know what he goes to. Maybe Dungeons and Dragons? I don't know what that goes to either. Or this. This goes to one of the, one of the guys. Alright, so that's it for the toys. Um, some of the other stuff. I kind of like this. I'm going to see if my daughter likes it. It's a little mirror. Got a little fairy with the moon on it. Really cute. Only a buck. Alright guys, so here is a short stack. I don't know, maybe 30 albums or so. And I'll say these are the best ones. Now there's some other good ones in there. You know, that are good $5 albums that I didn't pull out quite yet. I just want to show you guys what I think are the best ones. Uh, a couple of them are gonna, I'm going to keep for me. Um, Miles Davis. Uh, this is a, a bunch of different jazz artists, but I mean, I'm a huge Miles Davis fan, so I'm going to keep that one. I'm also a big uh, Santana fan, so I'm going to keep this one as well. And there's another one in there that I forgot to take out. But let's go through these. Like Bad Company, uh, Stevie Wonder. You got this Kiss album right here. You got this Kiss album right here. Now, this one here is special. I have to look it up just to make sure, but I mean, nonetheless, Kiss. I mean, this is the first time I found any, uh, even a single Kiss album, and I've got uh, three right here. This one, Hotter Than Hell, and Destroyer. This is a really cool cover. Very, very classic. Um, got this Pink Floyd album, Elton John. Those are a few Elton Johns. You got Honky Chateau. Chateau. Uh, with Elton John, a bunch of Billy Joe. Billy Joe sells really well. Super Tramp sells well. Of course, everyone loves the Eagles. Here's another Stevie Wonder. Doobie Brothers always sells really fast. They're not a, an expensive album, but uh, they sell really quick. People like Doobie Brothers. Uh, here's another soundtrack from the film Led Zeppelin. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Captain Fantastic, another Elton John record. Uh, Caribou, another Elton John record. Um... This one here is kind of tore up. Follow Goodbye, Yellow Big Road. There's some decent songs on this album. Uh, Rocket Man. Benny and the Jets. This is a really good album, actually. Uh, unfortunately, the cover is completely jacked. So, what I'll do is I'll hold on to this record and see if I find another album maybe one day that that one's better than. There's that Rod Stewart. A Fleetwood Mac. There's that other Pink Floyd. Now this one here, I'm not sure. It says Petra captured in time and space. I don't even know if I know this band. But I like the album. And I've got a few other ones over here that the albums look really neat. So I kept them. And also this one. A New Order. 
I, I don't know. It's just de it's, a, it's a neat looking album. It looks like some funky music. I'm not sure. There's a lot of these. A lot of comedy. I, I kept this one just to remind me. But uh, there's George Burns. There's uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of some of the other ones. There's a but there's probably about ten to twelve other comedy albums uh, in there. Uh, this one here is all the set that goes to this album here in Chicago. It's like I think it might be all of their albums. It's like an anthology, I think, maybe. It's got a bunch of them in here. Let There Be Rock by ACDC. That's a great, great album right here. I like that one. Um, the Kinks. Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. That's a really good album. Here's another one that kind of caught my attention. It's called uh, Blood Rock 2. I don't even know who this is. Blood Rock is from Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> this is their second album. Uh, Jim Rutledge. Don't know any of these people, to be honest with you. But, I like this album cover. It's kind of neat, kind of gory, you know, with the blood. And uh, sometimes these albums sell for a lot of money, even though they're not a real popular band. Uh, let's see, who's this? Alice Cooper. Another Alice Cooper. Uh, this one's kind of cool. Uh, Superfly. Um, I picked this one up. Also, uh, just to remind me that there's a bunch of... Um, other like uh, soundtrack albums in here from different movies uh, so I didn't take those out but just as a reminder here's another Aerosmith featuring Dream On this is probably one of their better albums as far as one album that's sought out after really popular one Mamas and the Papas uh, Leonard Skinner once again another Billy Joel Best of Chuck Berry uh, Wings Over America this is a uh, uh, band with uh, Paul McCartney. Is it? I don't think it's with the Beatles. I think it's just Wings, right? Yeah, it's just it's just we went off on his own. Uh, who is this? Led Zeppelin. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. Uh, yes. Uh, who's this girl named Carly? Carly Simon. Another Beatles album. Another one by Yes. The Who, here's the other Santana. This is the one, man. I couldn't, man. I've been, I've been trying to find this album out in the wall for a very long time. I could got, I could have gone and bought it on eBay and had it, but what's the fun of that, right? And of course, this one here has Black Magic Woman, Oye Como Va, uh, Samba Para Ti, and those are like three of his biggest hits right there. Um, I don't recognize any of the other ones, but this is definitely a keeper for me. I'm definitely keeping that one right there. I don't want to put that ACDC one. Uh, Three Dog Night. Here's uh, The Beatles, Every Road. Another, this is a good one here, Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix is always good to pick up. People love Jimi. Another Chicago album. This one's kind of jacked up. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Um, I'm a big jazz musician. I play the saxophone, and this one here is by uh, Stan Getz, Charlie Bird. Desafinado is a great band. Uh, uh, sorry, great song. Some is a good one. Yeah, I'm about to check this one out. This is one that I'm going to keep for myself. Blue Oyster Cult. Great band. People love them. Eric Clapton's Rainbow Concert. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, guys. This is the first time I've ever found a Black Sabbath album. And not only did I find one, I found one, two. I want to say this is the one that has Iron Man on it. But was that the only one? Uh, Springsteen, Aerosmith, another Billy Joel. That's a good album. Billy Joel. Led Zeppelin. Billy Joel. Oh, here's, I thought that was another one. And another Black Sabbath album. All right, so real quick, guys. What I wanted to do was give those two ladies uh, that helped me out at the garage sale a little shout out um, for making me a good deal. Um, looks like it's going to be a really cool relationship um, between what they do and uh, what I do. Uh, Carrie and Christy, uh, their company's uh, Carrie Kempler Allen. And what they do is uh, state planning, wills, and probate services. So if you're in the Houston area, or maybe if you're not in the Houston area, they still might be able to help you out. 
They're here local where I'm at, but you can email them at case manager at cklawlaw.com. Thanks, ladies, so much for your uh, for the hookups, really, and uh, and I hope to uh, do more business with y'all. And uh, yeah, y'all check them out online, and uh, if you ever need their services, uh, let them know the Texas Picker sent you. Alrighty, folks. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, man, what a great video! I think it was. Uh, well, at least <laughs> I like the garage sale. If it was a great video, that's up to you guys. If you hit me a thumbs up, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun uh, chatting with those ladies, with those kids. I think you guys enjoyed it too. Go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the haul, about the records, about the toys, uh, anything else that you might have seen that I passed up on. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know. Um, I want to leave you guys with this. Um, Father, we just really want to come together to, uh, as a body of Christ, Lord. And uh, we want to lift up the spirit of peace, Father, and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, that you would reach out across the oceans, across the lands, Father, and that you would just put uh, love and peace in the hearts of all men and women, Father, right now, Father. Uh, right now with uh, the things going on with Russia and Ukraine, Lord, um, we just ask you that you intervene now, Father. You intervene, that you would touch the hearts of man, Father, and that you would just stop all this needless killing, Father. Stop all this needless war, uh, Father. Uh, it's, it's in your hands, Lord, and we just trust that you would uh, make the right moves happen, Father. We just ask you, Lord, that you would give calm and peace to the families that are affected by this, Lord. Um, I, I would ask that you just, just really just let them know, Father, that you are still the God of Lazarus that raised him from the dead. You're still the God of yesterday, today, and forever, Lord. I just want to thank you, Father, for the many blessings, Father. Um, while others around the world are suffering, um, we're here, Father, just um, enjoying your abundance of love and mercy, Father. And uh, we thank you for it, Lord. Uh, but we also ask you, Father, that you would reach out across the world, Lord, and just give everybody that same peace, Lord. I know a lot of people have been asking me to pray for this, Father, and I just ask that you would listen to our prayers, Father, that you would hear our hearts and that you would uh, finally intervene and, and, and stop all this madness across the world, Father. We know that there is no weapon that formed against us will prosper, and we know that you're the God of gods and the King of kings, and we just ask you, Father, to just just have your will be done. If, if anything, just have your will be done. We just thank you so much, Father, again, for everything that you do for us. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I hope you guys prayed with that with me. Um, I know a lot of y'all are, are personally affected by this. Um, if you are, uh, just know that we're here praying for you. Uh, we're sending a positive energy to you. Uh, we're just sending lots of love to you. And uh, we just uh, hope that you guys receive it. I hope you guys feel it. And I hope that this is over soon. And, um, and yeah, um, we really do. Uh, you're not alone. You're never alone. Um, and I, I don't know what to say, guys. Um, it's it's kind of a tough situation, and I hate that to be happening. Um, but I do think that hopefully, you know, things are going to get better soon. And uh, this will be behind us, and we'll move forward as a human race. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace.